So welcome to Varshita Education Developer Interview Questions in our Service Now. Okay, so in our Service Now Developer Interview Questions, uh, and previously we given uh, most of the interview questions. So, but most of the people are asking about the uh, interview questions about the scenario basis. See, uh, some subscribers ask that sir. So interviews are asking about the scenario based question, sir. So if that uh, question is very simple, but also they are asking about the um, scenario basis. So they are uh, they requested to do that scenario basis questions. So that's why uh, I'll just I'm showing to you one scenario based question and that too. It is a very simple script, but the back end. Um, so answer is very simple, but the question is it looks like a somewhat big scenario, right? So now let's we uh, discuss about that scenario. Then after that, I will show it to you how to resolve that issue, right? Okay, now you can see here, a technical support specialist at a large technology company is tasked with resolving a high volume of software incidents that was misclassified as hardware issues. They are instructed to change the category of all incidents to hardware without updating system fields. So ensuring accurate classification and avoiding potential system error. See here, uh, this question is very simple. See, in a, uh, one person is working as a technical support specialist in your one company. Okay, that's okay. And see, he has a one task. What is a task, you know? So already software uh, incidents are created. Some of the category is in software that software incidents are already created but it is a misclassified now you want to just convert the software incidents to the hardware without updating your system fields that's enough okay so sys fields means for example created is there so somewhere uh, at the time so created updated or something is there right so without changing of that updation value the system has to change the updation values every time so without changing that updation uh, value, without affecting on updating, then you can convert into the uh, software to hardware. So all the um, incidents. So that is a very simple. Okay. So how to do that uh, scenario? I'll show it to you. Very simple process. We need to write a one background script in this area. Okay. So before writing the scripting, I'll show it to you where it will be. Uh, software records and uh, where is the hardware how we can change it okay now let's we uh, go to the practical analysis right so this is my personal developer instance in this personal developer instance first of all i want to show you uh, incident tickets so incident dot list okay incident dot list now you can see this is a created and updated also we need to mention in this area yeah I think updated. Yes, updated. So now we can create it and update it. I'll keep it here. Right. So updated is there. Okay. This is six days ago. Update it was updated 24 days ago. Right. But the category is our just category is name. So software, right? Software. When I use the software, now you can see that this is a uh this five years ago it was updated and this is a nine years ago it was updated so 11 months ago and three months ago and six days ago and now you can see that three months ago and now you can see the three months ago and three months ago so these are all are uh, more than three months ago only yes or no but i want to convert this already all category software uh, incidents to without updating this field then we want to convert into the hardware right how to convert it i'll show it to you step by step now i'll go to this um, personal developer instance just click on all and now you can see that background scripting okay so background script background is there now you can see that script background simply click on background okay so whenever you click on script background you will get the so two sides one is a scripting area one is a result area okay so now let's we write the scripting i'll show it to you a little bit bigger right so first of all we'll write the bar 
gr is equals to glide record is equals to new glide record so which table we are just i am modifying so incident so that's enough and the next one gr dot add active query add active query add active query so this is the incident records are active then next one gr dot query now you can see that gr dot query so as of now we given as a query that's fine that's fine now i need to just go with a step by step in a each and every record so that's why while so gr dot next so now gr dot next in this area now you can see what is the value we need to get first of all we need to get the value so where, where that value has to software is there we need to update to the hardware right gr dot category is equals to okay mm. wait just a minute i think yeah i think i'll change it this one so here we need to get a value not add active query just we can change gr dot add query right query so which area we can use it that is a first one is a category category mm. category and what is the category value it says software right so software is there now i can use this software that's enough only these records only we are just getting and gr dot category is equals to i'm going to update into a hardware right okay that's enough i think it's a small s not for the upper case right so software and now i'm just updating into the hardware simply i given like this and then so now i'm using gr dot so autosis okay autosis fails so what does it mean that is a false when i use the autosis fails is a false then so this is a this is a line to uh, not to modify the system uh, generated fields means like a hey, so updated created these fields are not to update by using of autosis fails okay so auto update correct only so autosis fails and now you can see that um, gr dot update that's enough okay so i think that's fine everything is good now okay so i think that's fine i'll check it i'll make it smaller again simply i'm going to click on run okay we'll wait for a few uh, seconds for the uh, changing of the background scripting yeah i think uh, around uh, so how many around uh, 20 records are updated so we'll see that uh, really it was updated or not we need to check so with the incidents right so before that first of all i'll check that uh, 9005 or anything just like a so five years ago it was updated right now i'm going to check this record okay so i'm going to copy this one simply i'm going to refresh whenever we click on refresh then all softwares are converted as a hardware that's why it is not showing now right so i'll show it to you now i'll search for the one record this model i want to check this record now you can see so this is converted as a hardware right so now you can see that so updated field as it is it was not changed into the okay so i really if i am not keeping any of the uh, auto sys fields false then automatically you know that updated value updated field has to change because a few minutes ago or one minute ago it was changed updated so that value has changed but you see it's now desire system fields are not changed and not updating so that's why the question is bigger 
and scenario based question but the answer is very simple without updating system fields then we can okay change the category from the software to hardware so that is the question see most of the people those who are attending the interviews so you just think about the interviews once you see that the interviewer is asking the questions and he is right to confuse your knowledge because of the reason so for example he wants to say that he, he may ask the little bit simple question only but he wants to ask in a scenario basis like a uh, he wants to create one story and he want to uh, say that yes think about uh, you are just resolving this ticket and like this kind of the scenario he may write to just create it and he may write to ask you so that's the reason you just do one thing you try to understand the question thoroughly and after understanding the question you just think about what the main concept in that scenario so you, that's enough okay you can simply you can give that answer those who have knowledge on your scripting area most of the people are confusing the scenario based questions only so that's the reason i created one scenario based question for our subscribers requirement okay so i think uh, i hope you understood so if you like this video please click on uh, like button and as of now if you are not subscribed our channel please subscribe it so thank you very much by next video definitely i'll go to the new interview question and lastly i may write to just give one more suggestion also if anyone have any of the interview questions if you faced in your interviews you just uh, send in a comments definitely i may write to just uh, elaborate and i'm ready to explain to each and everyone so it will be helpful to other people also so thank you once again